25 years ago for Christmas, my family gathered at my grandparents' house for the holiday. That afternoon, we gathered in the living room and everybody was taking turns opening gifts. And when it came to be my turn, I had a package that was addressed to me from my grandmother. I opened it up and much to my surprise, I found inside was this small metal model of a old time car. Turns out that when I cranked the lever on it, it was actually a music box. Plays a little song that I didn't recognize, but I gotta tell you, I was pretty confused about this gift. Why would she give me this car? I mean, don't get me wrong, I was grateful, but as a teenager, I, I wasn't sure what to make of it. A, a music box? A, an old time car? I mean, all I could really think of was that I think that I used to play with this when I was a child. I mean, a small child. I'd take it off the shelf and I would play with it along with my other toy cars running it across grandma's carpet. Well, a few days after she gave it to me and I had it back home again, I was inspecting it and, and looked underneath the roof and found that there was this piece of paper folded up tight and tucked in underneath there and I opened it up and found this letter inside typed by my grandma. And here's what it says. This is a picture of your great grandpa and grandma Jones sitting on the running board of what I believe was his first car which he purchased in the 1920s. He was very proud of this car. So when he was in the Spring Valley Hospital in September of 78, I found this music box car in the gift shop and I just had to get it for him. He was so proud, telling all of the nurses that it looked just like his very first car. I thought you should have something special at this time, so I'm giving it to you now. I hope you will think of your grandpa whenever you look at it or pick it up and listen to the music. He would have been as proud of you as I am, lovingly, Grandma. Turns out that this car music box has gone with me everywhere I've gone in the years since. It went to dorm rooms with me, several apartments, now four houses later, and here it resides on my bookshelf where I can see it every time I work from my office. I think of my grandma and my great-grandparents every time that I see it. I guess it's doing exactly what my grandma intended. You know, the funny thing about a gift like this, though, is that I can't really remember what I got for Christmas from my grandma the year after or the year before getting this music box. Maybe it was a new shirt or uh, some cash, maybe a savings bond or something that I had requested. But the thing that I didn't ask for, the thing that I didn't appreciate in the moment is the thing that has come to gain value over time. It's funny how I would have never seen that coming, and yet today it's one of these prized possessions of mine because of what it's come to represent. Have you ever received a gift like that? Sometimes it takes a long time, years, decades, maybe even a lifetime to truly appreciate a gift. These gifts take us back to certain places or times. They kindle our senses. They warm us with gratitude. Ultimately, we realize that they have become more than gifts. What was taken for granted is now treasured. Their value to the world is minimal, but to us, they are priceless. The stories they tell have become a part of our story. They've become a part of us.